in your browser type cheminfo.org under the spectra tab you go to nmr then predictions under that you go to 1h prediction that is proton nmr prediction you can also predict any of those depending on what you you are interested in so let's use one h so uh, here you can enter the data for your compound if you have uh, the canonical smiles you can paste them here uh, in this case uh, i will draw the structure using these tools here so i'll draw out a structure really quick These tools are so user friendly, so don't expect much problems when using them. So the structure that I'm drawing is for a compound that uh, I recently ran an experiment for on a 500 megahertz machine. So we are going to compare the data from the prediction with the experimental data that I got. And we see how close uh, the prediction is. So uh, this is the structure. Uh, down here, uh, I can enter the, the other parameters like uh, the frequency, spectrometer frequency. Let me use 500. Since in the experiment I also used 500. Then uh, these other parameters we can leave them to the default. So uh, simply uh, press or click the simulate spectrum button. So when you click that icon uh, it generates the data. So here we have uh, the data in form of uh, the delta, in other words, the chemical shift, you have uh, multiplicity, if it is there, it will display here, and then the coupling constant, and then the number of protons, number of atoms, in other words, the integration. And then here we have the assignment. So uh, it is interactive, if you hover over one of the protons, Immediately it shows you the data here in the table. It also shows you the corresponding signal on the spectrum. So we have a, a calculated spectrum down here, which is really very neat. So this is how it works in a nutshell. So uh, let's compare this with the experimental data and we see how close they agree. This is the calculated spectrum. Let's compare it with the experimental data. Here is the experimental spectrum. Uh, it has uh, some other signals due to the hydroxy. So in the calculated spectrum, the hydroxy signal does not appear. Also, I used the uh, chloroform as a solvent. So there is an extra signal for chloroform. The rest of the signals uh, clearly match if I superimpose the two spectra, we realize that uh, the experimental and the calculated spectrum, they match signal by signal. So such tools can be very important during structure elucidation. It can be a supporting tool to help us confirm or even uh, remove some doubts and so on and so forth. Let's have a case study. For this proton, the calculated or the theoretical chemical shift value is at 7.68 from cheminfo.org. So uh, the experiment gave a chemical shift value of 7.78. So we realize that uh, the theoretical and the experimental uh, chemical shift values are in close agreement. So this tool is therefore a good one.